Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from JE Advance from 2019. This is a rather complicated problem. Here we have an equation, a quadratic one. We have x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0. We have p and q as roots of this quadratic equation and we know that p is greater than q. We are given a sequence a n defined as p to the power of n minus q to the power of n over p minus q. This sequence is defined for n greater than or equal to 1. We also have another sequence b n defined as a n minus 1 plus a n plus 1. This sequence is defined for n greater than or equal to 2 and for n equals to 1 we have b1 as 1. Based on all we have here we need to find the sigma of bn over 10 to the power of n for n starting from 1 up to infinity. Before moving forward to talk about the solution Make sure that you pause the video to think about this interesting problem. We are going to see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, let's start with rewriting what we have for bn. bn is defined based on an minus 1 and an plus 1. We have an as p to the power of n minus q to the power of n over p minus q. If we replace what we have for an minus 1 and an plus 1, we're going to end up with what you are seeing here. And then we have p minus q as a common denominator for these two fractions and if we want to simplify them we can use this common denominator and then we are going to end up with p to the power of n minus 1 times 1 plus p squared minus q to the power of n minus 1 times 1 plus q squared over p minus q. Now remember p and q are roots of a quadratic equation. The quadratic equation that we have is x squared minus x minus 1. Let's start with using p inside this quadratic equation. Then we have p squared minus p minus 1 is 0. So we can say that p squared plus 1 is basically 2 plus p. You just need to rearrange what we have for p squared p and 1. If we do this, then we are going to end up with p to the power of n minus 1 times 2 plus p minus q to the power of n minus 1 times 2 plus q over p minus q. Now we have p and q as the roots of this quadratic equation. We already know that this quadratic equation has two roots, 1 plus square root, root of 5 over 2 and 1 minus square root, root of 5 over 2. We know that p is greater than q so we know which one is which. Now if we have p plus 2 and q plus 2. We know that if we add 2 to both sides of what we have for p and q we're going to end up with 5 plus minus square root, root of 5 over 2. 
On the other hand, P minus Q is going to be a square root of 5. So we are going to replace these values and we'll simplify what we have. Now let's replace what we have for P plus 2 and Q plus 2 and also for P minus Q. For P minus Q, we are going to replace it as a square root of 5 as we explained. On the other hand, for P plus 2, we are going to use 5 plus a square root of 5 over 2 since P was greater than Q. For the Q plus 2, we are going to use 5 minus a square root of 5 over 2. Now, the thing that we are going to do here is a little bit tricky. We are going to factor out a square root of 5 from the two terms that we have for the nominator. If we do this, for the one that we have in green for the first term, we will have a square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. And for the other term, we will end up with a square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. If we remove a square root of 5 from top and bottom, we are going to end up with something very, very interesting. Basically, we know that a square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 is P. And we have P to the power of N minus 1 times P. We are going to replace that as P to the power of N. On the other hand, for a square root of 5 minus 1 over 2, we are going to replace that with Q. And then we have q times q to the power of n minus 1. We are going to replace that with q to the power of n. So at the end, bn can be written as p to the power of n plus q to the power of n. Now let's review what we wanted to find. We wanted to find sigma of bn over 10 to the power of n, starting from n equals to 1 up to infinity. So we are going to end up writing bn as p to the power of n plus q to the power of n. Then we are going to divide what we have in this fraction into two fractions. The first one is going to be p over 10 to the power of n and the second one is going to be q over 10 to the power of n. We know that p over 10 and q over 10 are going to be less than 1 we have an infinite number of terms here. So we can write the whole sigma as p over 10 over 1 minus p over 10 plus what we have for q, a similar approach. Now we are going to simplify what we have inside these two fractions. If we remove what we have as 10 in the denominator of all these fractions, we are going to have p over 10 minus p plus q over 10 minus q. If we simplify it a little bit further, we are going to end up with 10 times p plus q minus 2pq over 100 minus 10 times p plus q plus pq. Now we have p and q as roots of the quadratic equation that we got. So p plus q is going to be 1 pq is going to be negative 1. We can write what we have in the top of this fraction as 10 times 1 minus 2 times minus 1. For the bottom of this fraction, we are going to write it as 100 minus 10 times 1 minus 1. And then if we simplify everything, we are going to end up with 12 over 89. And that concludes our answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please kindly subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.